Okay, it is laundry day and several people on Tumblr wanted to know how my little machine worked, so I'm going to show you. <laughs> Uh, this is the Wonder Wash. I got it on Amazon for $50. It comes with a machine, a lid, and a little spout. Now, ideally, when you're using this, you're going to place it in either the bathtub or on a countertop so that then the spout, when you plug it in, can just drain directly into either the sink basin or the tub basin. However, my tub is too narrow for the suction cups on the feet to attach and I conveniently covered my counter with a textured contact paper and so the feet will not attach there either. Which means that when I do it, it's a little bit more complicated than it should be for the average person. Uh, I use the machine here in the kitchen floor and then whenever I need to drain it, I pick it up onto the counter plug in the spout and drain it into the sink. Um, but just that so you're aware, I'm, I'm not doing that by choice. Uh, that is my only option. This is about what I would have in one normal load of laundry. Uh, obviously, it does not have the capacity of a normal washer, so I tend to split like a, a normal load in half. Um, oh, hi. Uh, so here I've got a sweatshirt, two pairs of blue jean shorts, and a big thick skirt. They're gonna be in one load together. Those are my bulky items. And then over here, I've got all of my um, tank tops and underwear and sports bras and like all of the little easier to manage things. Okay, now that I have added my water and my soap, I can get started. So even when the feet are suctioned on, sometimes the machine likes to move, so I like to brace it with my legs. Uh, it's kind of hard to get it started at first, so I tend to like to give it a shove and then start cranking, uh, like so. And then once you get past that initial sort of hurdle, um, it cranks along pretty well. <laughs> and then after you've done, so I normally do about two minutes, a minute on each arm. After you've done that, uh, well for me anyway, I have to unstick the feet. Um, whenever you attach and detach the drain pipe, you're going to get a little bit of water that comes out. So I always just put a towel down. And once you take the lid off, the suction will stop and you will drain. Also, if there's any question about whether or not it's actually getting clothes clean, check out the dirty water that's draining. Yep, that's gross. And once it's stopped draining of its own volition, you can kind of like squish on the clothes to get a little bit more water out. Then your options are you fill it up with fresh, clean, preferably cold water and spin it some more and that's your rinse cycle or you can rinse them by hand. Uh, for the smaller things like this, I tend to rinse them by hand just because it's easier than doing the whole put the machine on the floor, <laughs> crank it, unstick it, put it back up here. So anyway, that is the Wonder Wash. Uh, I've been really pleased with it for the last month that I've had it. Um, 
the only thing that really takes a lot of time is the wringing out of the clothes. The washer itself, I think, is very quick and effective. Uh, the only thing that I had a little bit of trouble with in terms of getting things clean the first try was uh, when I did sheets and towels. The sheets were fine, but the towels, um, my towels at least, they're white and um, I tend to leave uh, mascara little streaks on my towels whenever I get out of the shower at night. And normally, those come right out on the wash. I actually had to, or at least I've learned that I have to pre-treat those um, because just the spinning motion, I guess, isn't enough to dislodge the you know, deeper, darker stains like that. Um, everything else I've never had an issue with. I mean, there was a big stain on this sweatshirt and I just put a little bit of uh, the pre-treatment on it and it came right out, didn't have to scrub it or anything like that. Uh, so yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, considering that to do one load of laundry washed and dried using the buildings uh, facilities would take $5. I am really happy with the amount of money that I'll be saving. I mean, the little machine will pay for itself in a couple months. Uh, so, that's it. <laughs>